Hello, Kenny in Seattle, Washington. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut Transitions Brown Lenses with Anti-Glare for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer color 902L, which is the large tortoise and the 55 eye size. So let's get started because i got a lot to show you in 21 minutes. Take your case out. And actually, you wanted the brown case. I'm going to get you a brown case. I have not forgotten about that. This is actually how your frame comes before I take the dark lenses out. It actually comes with a little plastic sleeve on the edge there. If Ray-Ban thinks it's a good idea to send it to me with one, well, by golly, I'm going to put a second one on the other side when I ship to you. We're going to be twice protected. So, let me go ahead and get your heavy original glass lenses out. Put these down. I'm going to put your Italian frame into my Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger. It is now tracing the shape of your right lens, and then it's going to scoot over and trace the shape of your left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy the frame from me, you get free, clear, prescription, or non-prescription lenses. Of course, Kenny, all you did was pay the upgrade to the transitions and the anti-glare. So... If this were a prescription, I would put your pupillary distance in, but these are not, so I'm going to type in the frame PD. This is a polycarbonate lens. Hang on, I've got to cycle back through. I'm going to cut it on the soft cycle because of the anti-glare, and this is for a Xyl frame. And I almost know from experience these are going to cut large, so I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And I'm probably still going to have to take it down some more, but these are your lenses. Let me take them out of the protective packets. That green hue is the anti-glare coating. Let me get these out of here. Clean up my mess. Now, I need to put a block on here which holds it into place in the lathe while it is cutting. So I'm going to use my little 3M pads for that. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to put it on there. Pull the paper away to reveal the double-sided sticky pad. Let me do the same thing. Get another block. Put that on there pull away the tape and let's do it again so pop this in and hit start you know if I knew I had company come over I would have cleaned up the machine here let me do that clean everything up here make everything look nice and brand new okay so let me hit start the first thing that's going to happen is the calipers are going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure that it's large enough to fit it's going to trace the concave side of the lens first, which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it's going to scoot over and trace the convex side of the lens, which is away from the face. The actual cutting wheel is down there on the bottom. It is that lighter color wheel on the left that's like a heavy grit sandpaper. And that's going to grind away your lens substance until it is the right shape. And then this wheel in the center is what's going to put the bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close the door in a moment due to the sound, but I want you to see as your, as your transition lenses touches down onto the cutting wheel. Now, your anti-glare coating, let me grab another lens. You have two add-on features. One is transitions, one is anti-glare. The transitions will show you in a moment, but the anti-glare feature, anti-glare eliminates glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead lights, fluorescent lights, as you can see are the one on the lens, the right on, the lens on the right, dude, you caught me yesterday after working 17 hours, it is now 727 on April 17th, 60 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, at least according to my Samsung Gear watch. But this anti-glare is three features in one. It's an anti-glare coating that we just talked about. It's an anti-reflection lens. So when someone's looking at you, they won't see the reflection in your glasses. Or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up. As you can see, the reflections on this lens on the right, when I move it back and forth, you don't see those reflections. And of course, the third feature that I like, the practical side, is that it comes with the best scratch coating in the business to prevent the, to prevent the best coating from getting scratched. Now, I'm going to take this out in just a moment when it's done and see if it fits. And I'll be quite shocked to see if it does fit on the first time. 
The larger 55 eye size has a deeper bevel, and I usually have to take it down a little bit more than the 52. You can always cut more off of a lens, you can never add it back on, so I always start a little bit larger and work my way down. And let's see, let me go ahead and get the paper towel ready. The first thing I'm going to do is dry everything off so your lens is not slippery and I don't drop it on live TV. But I'm going to go back to my hand stone, put a safety bevel on there that's going to take away the rough edges that you had there. Now everything is nice and smooth and I'm going to see about getting this mounted. So the first thing I'm going to do is tuck this in and in the future with the lenses I'm going to send you, this is what you do to put them in. You tuck them in at the outside corner. I hold the frame upright in the side that I'm working on. I have closest to me. I don't try and reach over. I have this side to me. So I tuck this in and then I use my thumbs and I press down at the nose and that snaps in perfect because I guessed I actually went down in advance knowing that. So I'm going to pop the other side in. I'm going to put this in, flip this over to the left and hit start. Now to take the lens out, and of course I'm going to take this block off because it's not needed anymore. Let me take that block off. Um, in order to take your lenses out, what you do is you turn the frame downward. It's always with your thumb, it's always at the nose. You turn the frame downward. Now I'm right handed so I grab the frame by my left hand and you can actually, I use my knuckles to kind of pull back on the frame here. And you can torque the frame, you're not going to hurt it. But I use my thumbs and I press, press down, out it pops. Now to put it back in, I turn the frame upright, I tuck it in at the outside corner and using my thumbs press down. You see how easy that goes in. Now let's try this with the original glass lenses. Can you hear that glass? Now same thing, you tuck it in at the outside corner first and then using your thumbs, hey that one goes in real easy. Dude, you're lucky, you're lucky, you're lucky. Most of the ones in the 55 are much harder. In fact, is this a 55? Yes, it is. Ray-Ban 2132, size 55, the box that it came in, 2132, size 55. So, yeah, we're good to go. Now, for the left lens, let's see this one be as easy. So, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Dude, you got lucky. You got lucky. I've never seen a 55 go in that easily, and you tried yourself. So, let me get these other lenses prepped and ready to go. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to send you the original glass lens in this foam packet. So this is a Ray-Ban 21-32, size 55, and these are the G15 lenses. I'm going to put each one in a little protective sleeve, but the first thing I want to do is use my optical grade acetone and clean all the adhesive residue that Ray-Ban puts along the edge of each lens. First I clean all the lens perfectly, and then I go around the edge so I make sure not to get any of the glue on the lens. I'm going to use my cleaning cloth to dry everything off. By the way, you will be receiving one of these cleaning cloths from me. This is mine with my logo on there. I will also provide instructions on how to care for your cleaning cloth that comes with your Ray-Ban case and the Ray-Ban cloth that is in there. Of course, you're going to be receiving a brown case. In fact, let's see if I can rob it from this one. Nope, that one's black too. Hang on, let's keep going, let's keep going. I got one more frame in here. One more frame. Let me open this one up. Yeah, black case day. Okay, I, don't worry. I've got some. I've got some. I just got to run down the hallway and get it. Let me put that back there. So let me put your sticker back on here. I do want to inspect to make sure these lenses are blemish free. I hold it up to the light and it is. I'm going to put your little sticker back on there. Let me hold this one up to the light and inspect. Yeah, I double fist. I keep a blue cloth in my right pocket and an orange cloth in my left. I double fist. All right, so I'm going to fold this over for twice the protection. Put that in there. Same thing. Tuck this one in, fold that over. And then I'm just going to grab a little piece of tape here and tape your lenses shut so they cannot come out during shipping. Of course, this is going to be folded over inside of your case, so there's no way anything could happen to it. So let me pop your lens back in. Snap. Let's do the same thing for the left dry everything off by the way these lenses have both UVA and UVB protection we know what the Sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin your eyes are eight times more sensitive although how much Sun do you get there in Seattle all right I'm just picking on you so again 
So that way you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. So you never have to worry about the ultraviolet rays damaging your, your eyes. But you still got to wear sunscreen on your skin. So I tuck it into the outside corner and using my thumbs, I press down. That is it to make sure it comes out. I'm just going to give it a little, there we go. Just a little push. Again, push down with the thumbs and it goes right in. So I'm going to clean that off. And one more thing I want to do before I ship to you. What I'm also going to show you is these darken, but one more thing I want to do is get it in standard alignment, meaning that it's in a three-point stance. When I've set it down on the table, I want three points to be touching, one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I put my thumbs down. There is no wobble, whereas mine, I have one ear that's higher than the other, so mine wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. So, and by the way, I'm wearing the 2132 New Wayfair in the size 52 in the blue crystal. You're getting the classic tortoise. So... Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to flip it over, do the same thing, push down. There is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they're not off or off kilter and the same amount of tension on both sides. Now let's make your lenses darken. By the way, here's that black rubber pair I told you about. If you want the black rubber to go with your tortoise, I'll see if I can't make you a special deal on that one. So right now you see how your lenses are clear. I'm actually about to darken them. I'm going to put them in my little transitions unit here. Hit the button and turn it on. And you will see that all transition lenses will darken on day one. Give them two to three weeks. They're going to continue to darken every day for the first few weeks until they reach their final setting. Now, it does take about 30 to 45 seconds for them to darken. A little bit slower when you come back inside. It takes 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now, the only time they will not work is when you're in your car driving, and that's when everybody wants sunglasses. Of course, you've got your glass lenses here now, and you can just pop those in for long distance. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken, just not behind uh, the windshield in a traditional vehicle because your windshield absorbs all the sun's ultraviolet rays, so your upholstery doesn't rot and your dashboard doesn't crack from sitting in the sun. Also, one of the benefits of living in Seattle, your lenses will get very dark. They're temperature sensitive, meaning that once it gets into the 90s, the upper 90s, they just don't get as dark as they would when it's in the 80s and below. When it's that high, you're miserable, your lenses are miserable, no one wants to work in those temperatures. So that is it. You have seen how your trend, and don't worry, your transition brown lenses with anti-glare are going to continue to get darker and darker every day for the first two weeks. But that's it, Kenny. I'm glad you got the chance to see your glasses being made. Anyone else out there who has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or just click the Contact Me button on the website. I hope you enjoyed watching your glasses being made and everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.